What's up, YouTube? Another little revelation today. I got that uh, First Corinthians five talking about revilers and uh, uh, railers. It's, it means abusers. And a uh, little bit, little bit of my uh, testimony. Um, God sent me. Before God sent me to church, I didn't know any, anything about church. Anything. I didn't even know what the New Testament was. They had to explain it. I didn't understand. Never went to church a handful of times when I was a child. Baptist church. Um, well, God sent me to the church. He also sent me to Chicago to uh, work uh, Union Iron Working. And uh, I didn't know nothing about Freemasonry. I didn't know nothing about mob. But I came to realize, hmm, there's a lot of similarities between all three of them entities. Because they, as uh, 1 Corinthians 15 1 Corinthians 5 6 points out, they've got extortioners in the church. 1 Corinthians 6, they've got extortioners. Isn't the mob known to be extortioners? <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not too far away. They're, they're the same things in, in many ways. Um, I'm not degrading the church. I'm not um, up bringing up, a, you know, evil people but there's a reason see I experience abuse out of both sides I'm like a man in the middle this is just a little bit of insight of what I've been through you know God uh, planned this for my life you know I'm just explaining a little bit I got a little revelation about it you know people I always thought people in the church were like you know <laughs> and I thought you know but it's not the case, you know. People are people, and you can get abused from um, you can get abused from anybody. It doesn't matter, you know. It was just a little revelation I had. I was going through this book, J. T. Pugh's book, and I just wanted to share a little bit. Okay, so hope this helps somebody. God bless. And I have forgiven them, by the way. I struggle with stuff every day, and. Um, the bitterness, it always comes back. It always comes back, but hey, I. Hey, I'm being honest, you, you might have to cuss your way through. You might, but then you have to repent. You know? Um, we're just people. We're trying to. Uh, everybody ought to want to go to heaven. If you don't want to go to heaven, man, you're. Just, I hate to be you on that judgment day, of Jesus Christ. But, you know, at least I'm trying. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like this uh, Christian Joe Schmo Blow bullcrap. You know, I'm, I try to tell it how it is. It's difficult to do that. You know, how you share your testimony is very difficult sometimes. But, you know, you got idiots you're talking to or, uh, you know, whatever. And... Uh, so you gotta be careful with your testimony with people, you know, because sometimes they'll take it the wrong way and they'll try to, they'll try to um, destroy you. And you're just trying to be an honest person because you know God loves honesty, you know. So, and I've come to find out lots of people they they don't even study the Bible, they don't even know what it says. They just take Mister dude with the microphone's word that everything he says is the gospel truth from Jesus Christ and that's a bunch of baloney because I've studied this out you know but um, so I hope uh, this helps somebody okay God bless you I don't even know what to call this video <laughs> let me know if you got any ideas God bless you